Oh, what a wonderful little game. Oh, I thought I was gonna play a cutscene. Hey guys, BG Mike here. Welcome to a game called Little Goody Two Shoes. It's a horror game, <laughs> you know. But man, I've had my eyes on this for a while. Uh, so it's the little secret lies in the woods. So I believe, you know, not knowing everything about this game, it's about red, little red riding hood. Is that what it's called? So it's called Little Goody Two Shoes. And and the quality, like. It looks so cool. It just reminds me of a lot of classic horror games that we've played in the past, uh, so I wanted to give it a shot. So let's get spooked together. Oh, I can move it. I like it. Little goody two shoes. <laughs> I mean, the style is awesome. I love this. Okay, new game. This is a demo, by the way. It's out. Go. You can go download it if you want. Yo, what is this, a Disney movie? Astral Shift, what does that mean? Once upon a time in the heart of a remote valley, an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search for mushrooms. When all of a sudden she heard a loud cry in the distance. My goodness! Maybe I'm wrong about Little Red Riding Hood. I, cradled inside a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. Oh my, what do I do? Yeah, I think I'm definitely wrong about that. <laughs> but she's wearing red, so I thought, okay? Worry not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. And so, Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of Kiffenburg. <laughs> I'm saying that right, yeah. Okay, so maybe this is like more of an inspired thing. I I don't know as both grew closer. So did their love for another Look granny look oh it is though, huh? Uh, well done Elise uh, Not all bliss lasts forever and as time went by That's a lot to read. She reading her stories? Okay. So did Holly's. Aw, oh, she's... She got sick. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Granny. Don't cry, my love. You've always said you wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it. Fufu, I guess is her name. Or like her nickname. Granny. I love you, Elise. Yo, this ain't no, nah, don't be sad. Thank you for granting my only wish. Well, I thought there was gonna be like a wolf in the bed, you know what I mean? But that turned out different than I had thought. Oh, here we go. Uh, For goodness sake, there goes my last match. For goodness sake. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Sweep my floors, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. Oh, I'd show them. I make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes even. Have them wipe down all my windows, every last one. Clean my heart, clean out my hearth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Oh, if only I were, were rich. Yeah, we all want to be rich, right? All the steak I could ever want. All the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week with shoes and jewels to match. And maids, all the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elise! Oh, for goodness sake. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, uh, on your way home, lass? Uh, what are you doing when around in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wondering about Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you're so kind- if you so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in da danger, Elise. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you! I'd be home already had not, uh, you would stop me for an earful. 
Come on now, Elise. We've got a good reason to worry. She seems kind of a jerk, huh? A little bit? All this vigilance for what? What am I to be afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk home? I believe I'll go, I'll be all fine on my own. Oh, walk you home, sorry. I believe I'll be fine on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more detours, Elise, it's for your own good. Lest I come across the witch, I know. Let us hope you don't co come to regret your words, lass. She seems kinda dumb, though. You know what I mean? Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes? <laughs> I, see, I see why it's called that now. Oh, I can't stand these folks. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. They, I already knew I was gonna love this game. All right, so to give you guys a better understanding, uh, I, I assumed it was like a Red Riding Hood thing, because it does look like that. I think it is just like an inspired thing, but it says, venture into the woods as you play a little uh, goody two-shoes, a fantas ma... Venture into the woods as you play as little goody two-shoes, a fans ma... <laughs> Why do you say that? Fantas magical. A phantasmagorical horror narrative of adventure where all the decisions matter. That's gotta be the most confusing word I've ever read in my life. Phantasmagorical. So all of our decisions matter, huh? I'd best head on home before it uh, gets too late, I suppose. Is it home this way? I guess not. I guess it's not. I'm sorry. Wow, the, the style is like so cool. I know I, I keep saying that, but I really do like it. I guess I don't know where home is. Alright, let's try this way. <laughs> Better head on home, lass. I, I'm trying! I'm literally trying. Where is my home? This way? Oh, of course. It's through the woods. The scary woods. I like how she just like run- Oh, okay. This way. She runs like so crazy. <laughs> oh, secrets? Secret? No? Okay, I guess it just lets you walk up there for nothing. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. What does it say? Pine tree. Uh, this pine tree, that. Everything's about pine trees around here. Right. Uh, oh, okay. So we can go to... Let's go right. Get some views, unless it's gonna make us go home. Okay. All right. Okay. Don't give us the option if you're not gonna let us do it. All right. Maybe it's only for the demo, you know. Uh, grapes. I got some grapes. Oh, that's that's gonna matter in the future. You can use the grapes to throw them at the enemies. I have no idea. I got grapes, and I'm not afraid to use them. For goodness' sake! <laughs> it's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. I guess you will. The heck? Save often. Make sure you use all of your save slots uh, to avoid too much backtracking. Are you saying I'm gonna die? Are you insinuating that I'm gonna die? Not me. I could never. Too good. The games. Well, I guess we need to go home. I'm assuming something bad's gonna happen. In here uh, what did happen here I really don't I don't know what it looked like before I had to find my matches what is she mad because her powers out like but there's no power <laughs> at least they did it oh, dang it I skipped it despite its visibility worn appearance the old trunk keeps its content safe and secure yeah what what oh someone came through my back door I clearly see I'm not leaving until I make sense of what happened here oh okay someone walked through here and oh broke my plate who in the lord's name got into my house it's no use going in the in the pantry is it there's nothing to eat in this house well it's too, it's too bad she doesn't have a, like an alarm system <laughs> it's like all old ages that's why today's video is sponsored by bullcrap alarm system you know <laughs> i'm just joking the, oh my god oh my god it's that kind of game Oh my, okay. What was that thing? Was I dreaming or? I think you need to stop eating those grapes. Whoever broke into my home must be out there somewhere. How am I to sleep like this? Shuddering in the wind, the glass panes tremble in the wooden frames. Scary. Endings? There's 10 endings? Okay, interesting. What was I thinking leaving it here? Uh, tinderbox. What's well, like her valuables? I have to light the fire now. Oh, I guess that's what that does. I don't know what a tinderbox is. I ain't gonna lie. Reserve your matches. Light your lantern using matches. Be careful not to waste them. Oh, we have a limited amount of matches? Light the fireplace. Uh, oh, okay. So if we're still living in Granny's house. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny Hole's room. Not that there's 
anything in there, I guess? Sorry, I have a bad tendency of skipping things on accident. Um, light, fireplace, fireplace. This looks like right here? Okay. Good grief! What if it was that witch the townsfolk have been going on about? Keep it together, Elise. No. Keep it together, Elise. She said that. I don't know why I said that. It was definitely a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. Oh, our, it sounds like you might be the witch. Find the burglar. Okay, so there's like a witch. It almost seems like this game is inspired by a bunch of fairy tales. Like uh, Little Red Riding Hood, Snow White, uh, you know, lots of stuff. It's no, unless there's like another one I don't know about, you know? How long has it been since I last used this thing, I wonder? Stringy cobwebs. <laughs> nope, I can read it again. And does cling to the old oven's wooden doors. Oh, it's a oven. Okay. Hello? Is there any witches out here? What's down here? Oh, this is where we... Oh, we, we have a garden? This isn't the time to be watering the garden, is it? Weathered by time, the well's wooden structure stands frayed and worn. It's almost like this place is abandoned. Like, she... I mean, she's probably just like, you know, does, it doesn't seem like she's keeping up with the house. You know what I mean? After, after Granny died. The atmosphere is really nice. Oh, look at that. Oh God, someone's there. The heck is this? Dude, it looks like a, it looks like a nineties anime. I freaking love the, the, the art style. There you are, you shameless thief. With it. Give me back all you took. Uh, right. Hurry it up. Now, oh, she smacked him. <laughs> Wait, please. <laughs> please forgive me. Oh, now you gotta make me feel bad. You're the one that broke into my house. <laughs> out with it. Explain yourself, you wretch. Uh, what were you doing in my house? Wait, please don't hit me. I was just hiding where these men and I. Oh, there were these men and I- I won't ask you a second time, thief. <laughs> that- that's her weapon of defense? Is a broom? Hurry it up! Give me back everything you took right now! I didn't take anything! Jeez, I was just scared. Please, I beg of you! Show me your hands! Oh, but I- I didn't take anything, ma'am. Now show me your pockets. Make it quick! I keep telling you I didn't steal anything, ma'am. Aw, they just have a few coins and some- Random jewels, I don't know. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds? What are you doing up here in the mountains? I'm a traveler, ma'am. Turn around. You say you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? Yes, I'm traveling alone. I hoped I could rest for a night in this village. But I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still... Oh, forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a, a mess. Would you stop calling me that? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Alright, well, I might let you go if you can prove your innocence, that is. Oh. I don't know what else I can do, ma'am. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can... I'm sorry, I... Ma'am? I did it! Yes, that's it. A maid! Right. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. She's awful! This is clearly like a homeless child or I don't know if they're a child. I'm assuming they are. I don't know. What's the first thing she wants to do? Put him to work. <laughs> That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. I, ma'am, complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree this is the least you can do? Of course, I'll gladly do it, ma'am. Good. In exchange, I suppose you could stay here, but no more thieving. I mean, I guess that because she's doing something good for them, you know? I'm not a thief, ma'am. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? It does sound fair, ma'am, and it's very kind of you, but I'm not a thief. Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? You don't, I apologize. All right. My name is Elise and you best remember it. Yes, yes uh, I'm so sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Rosen Marine, Selenic Wanderer. Okay. Uh, my name is Rosemarie, and it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. Uh, for goodness sake, just Elise is fine. Come now, you have a lot of work to do. Of course. Okay. I have no idea how long this demo is, but I'm enjoying it. How could you do all this? Look at my floors. I'm so sorry. Even Granny's plate shattered to pieces. What are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. 
Yeah, seriously, why did they freaking do all this? All right, well, you know what you did. Anyway. Anyway, here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace, too. Oh, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow, understood? Of course, course ma'am. And I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry. sorry. Come now, let's show me. Uh, let me show you the well out the back. Oh, but I... Uh, I can do it myself, Elise. It's, it's confusing. I think they're gonna read and they don't. Uh, anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, Lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Try to cross me even once and I'll be having a word with my townsfolk. Are we clear? Yes, Elise. I'm sorry. I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have uh, Sunday mass to attend tomorrow. <laughs> so she sounds like she's a maid herself, right? She was saying that in the beginning, right? She wishes that she was rich. She wants to be a billionaire so freaking bad. She's singing that Bruno Mars song. I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elise. Go to bed. All right. Bro, how do you know they're not going to kill you in your sleep? I would be worried. I wouldn't be sleeping with a stranger in my house. But as long as I have to clean this dirty house, it's worth it. Aww. Now you've done it, Elise. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous or worse? Even what if she's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about? Oh, what would Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell her on her, too. What's done is done, I suppose. Seriously, Grandma did not raise you like this. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best that I go to bed. Okay, so there's multiple days. Yeah, I honestly, I didn't, I don't know, I guess, much about this game. I just saw it and I was like, I gotta play this. It's morning already. She's in her jammies. Oh, it's changed. I can't be late for Sunday Mass. Her father hands will. Good grief, what was I thinking? She's probably taken everything I own by now. Oh my god, will it be clean? Wait, mad managing stamina, you will lose. Oh, there's stamina. And we can manage items. Okay. Oh, so it's one of those games where we have to manage our time and stamina. Okay. Okay, well, the clock's still here. That's a good sign. Whoa. It looks amazing. Or maybe not. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but hey. Rosa Marine. What's her name? Rosa Marie? Uh, it's not Rose Marine? Was that her name? I can't believe she tied it up and left just like that. I didn't even give her anything at last uh, to eat last night, the poor thing. Now, where could she have gotten to? She's probably sleeping back in the thingy. I mean, she cleaned all night, right? Rose and Marine! <laughs> Is she saying it like bad on purpose? Uh, honestly, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. Uh, I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind, come with me now. Sorry. Are you taking me to the village? <laughs> what do you take me for, some rich? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I didn't mean to be such a brute, truth be told. I'm sorry for what I did, too. I got it. All, that dead, all of that's dead and buried. Now come, I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Yeah. Ah, wait for me, Elise. Uh, wait for me, Elise. I'm so good at reading. Oh, it is Rose and Marie, no? Okay. But it was saying Rosemary, so it was just confusing me. Flock. Flock? Is that a sheep or a goat? Oh, it's so cute! Fluffy companion. Oh, these people are, they're gonna die, aren't they? I'm so relieved to see you. Where have you been? You know, this goat. Yes, of course. We met on the way to Kiefenberg. Uh, we've been together since. Uh, yes, we were, we were. He's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? The cuddliest little thing, you say? I ought to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, Flock. 
She puts a toast in her mouth. I'll be late for Sunday mass instead. Like, <laughs> I have to say, you did a decent job uh, tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to. Well, I'm so glad. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. I kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd... I get it already. No need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be hungry. Thank you, Elise. You really are too kind. Uh, you do remember I hit you with the broom, right? Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot. Most folks would have tossed me right out on the moment they found me, but you didn't. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out, so I'm good. So I'm a good person. All right. Don't wonder about it. Don't make a mess. Or uh, wonder about. I won't, Elise. Pursue your love interests. What did you just say? Uh, okay, so it's not a child. I'm, ass I'm just assuming. So we can date our maid. Okay. Talk to your favorite girl when you see a heart above her, uh, her head to schedule a romantic date for later. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I didn't know it was that kind of game. Oh, you do everything in this game, huh? Ah, before you go, Elise, you want a date? <laughs> I have something to tell you if you could come meet me later today. Uh, what's keeping you from telling me now? Well, it's important, so I'll be in the back by nightfall, all right? For goodness sake, it best be worth my while, you hear? I promise, it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. So it's a dating game as well. All right. All romantic dates are marked with the heart icon. Each date will skip one time period. Okay, so we gotta come back here at dusk. All right, the goat is here. Does the goat do anything? There you are, flock. Ought to be nice being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world, oblivious to everything. I say the same things about my dogs. Like, I just stare at them and they're just laying all comfortably and I'm like... You don't have to pay any taxes. You don't have to pay rent. You don't have to do anything. You're just a dog. Oh, we got mail. Oh, tutorial. No, I thought we had mail. Screw that. I would be late for mass. I'll get an earful from. What is that? What, what is that? Is that? Is it like a meta thing? I I need to know. Just tell me right now if you're gonna be doing these kinds of things. I'll get an earful from Father Hands if I don't hurry up. Uh, okay, map menu. Oh dang, okay, we've got kind of a world, but I assume there's, you know, probably other love interests we can go to. Uh, you know, there's different choices we can make, so this is like cool. So we have chores. Ah, I see. Alright, I gotta go to church. Oh dang, this is big. Okay, the map is bigger than I thought. Holy crap. I'm assuming this is the church, the village square. Alright, I'm assuming if anything creepy happens, it's probably not gonna be till night. Uh, there you are, Elise. Gretel? Come here, why don't you? <laughs> Good day, Granny Gretel. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hands off my back. I have some fresh buns. They'll cheer you right up. Why don't you take a look? Oh, it's the bakery, I'm guessing. Oh, I assume this is like, oh, you need to buy buns to have stamina. Okay, um, I'm buying. Goodbye, pretzel. So it gives us a heart. Okay. I see. Oh, it's okay. All right, let's buy a, a loaf of bread. That's some tasty looking bread, if I say so myself. All right, I used all my money on that. Right, anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? Sorry, I'm out of here. This silly old thing to think, looking, looking big. <laughs> Lab kuchin, and I used to spend entire afternoons taking turns on the swing. Scared by slightly frayed rope and covered with pine needles. Okay, it's a swing. All right. Okay, all story events are marked. Okay, got it. So this will skip a time period if you do the story. All right. Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. Good morning to you too, Miss Bertha. Oh, I wasn't uh, certain you'd come today, Elise. Why wouldn't I? You think I'm a heathen? Huh? Mr. Ordinary? My Elise, you do like quite, you look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. What was? For goodness sake, Elise, did you not notice the state uh, Kaifenberg is in? There was a frightening windstorm last night. Oh, is that why everything was like blown, like, like, looked like they were abandoned? It swept through the alleys, nearly ripped some roofs off. Even mine was covered in dead wood. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, uh, Odali? Oh, I've had it. Wait, so that's what happened? Is that what happened with her house? It wasn't the girl, so she cleaned the house for what? Nothing? Oh, I've had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what. Oh, Odalie, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll, uh, see Marielle. Marielle. I'm saying all these names perfectly, just, I, I guarantee you. All I can see is we're running late for, ma for mass. Goodness, what has Kaifenberg come to? After you, Elise. 
The woodland, huh? Let us pray. Elise. Good morning, Elise. I'm assuming this is going to be another love interest. It's, it's probably, is it all girls? Hey, you know, hey, whatever. How are you always so cheery, uh, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, me neither. All because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? I kept a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see. Significant helps me sleep better, and it uh, leaves such a lovely... Shh, keep quiet, you two. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Wilhelm. Mel Wilhelm. Uh, what best focus now, Elise? You're the one wittering on, Freya. May the blessings of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed Saint Walpurginga take heed of our prayers. Amen. This Saturday, we will once again be celebrating our pa patroness, Saint Walpurga. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are all already underway. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Let us trust a Waluigi to guide our people and keep Kaffenberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Waluigi. Alright, so that was a day? Was that a whole day? Or just like an afternoon. Took all you had to get out of bed this morning, I wager. Why does everyone say that? <laughs> okay, who is this? Lab Kuchin. Sugary devotee. She makes donuts. Uh, very funny. I, I just, I don't, she's more, uh, she's, she don't, I don't think she makes donuts. But the sugary made me think she baked things, but she's clearly like a, a nun or something. Jokes aside, at least, don't, uh, I, don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? Yeah, come as you are, you know? <laughs> You're riling me up on purpose again, Leb. Can you tell? Oh, I like Leb. That's way easier to say. <laughs> I best get to work now before it gets late. Don't forget to come uh, around later, Elise. I won't, I won't. Relationship menu. Yeah, <laughs> everyone we meet, we can have a relationship with. Just... Uh, hopefully not the goat. <laughs> you know, let's, let's leave the goat out of this. Acquired mysterious note. Oh, that was a mysterious looking note. Uh, there's something written on here. Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified by thy name, may thy will be everlasting and thy grace all embracing. Quench uh, thou shalt be on the Sabbath the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life bearing grove. A prayer? There's something else at the bottom. Okay, something off. I, I'm tired of saying these names. Kevinberg's offering lies in the crosswords beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. In the crosswords, I wonder who dropped this. Is that like a treasure? I'm sure it's not cursed. Oh, okay, so they're literally all listed right here. Okay, I kind of thought it was going to be like that. Oh, this is clearly one of those things as well. Oh, I guess I can't do anything with it. But that's probably where the note says to go. Okay. I had to take a break and come back. It's why my shirt's different, but I just got to do this stuff again real quick. Okay, now we back. All right. Uh, should I talk to her? Or is it going to make time go faster? Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Didn't sleep a week. Explains the hilarity. You're helpless, love chicken. Uh, as long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go. Before I forget... Pretzels for me? You shouldn't have. You brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernard said you were uh, rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by, and I told you Miss Elma, Elma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Right, Mr. Bernard was uh, fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernard could find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower at afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. Okay. Who do I pick? That's the question. 
I'll be here, Leb. No wonder Father Hans is such a miserable wretch. I would be too if I had to read this gibberish all day. So, so she goes to church, you don't even believe it. All right. Is there anything in here? I remember sneaking to Father Hans' study with Leb when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them. Okay. I want to go back to that symbol to see if anything happens. Whoa, this is cool. This place always brings back such good memories. The fragrant mountain breeze frolics the, the, about the rolling hills, spreading its spring cheer across Kiefeberg. Look, guys, I'm not even, I'm just giving up on the names at this point. Oh, thank goodness that's over. What a board. I think I'll have to work all day until the evening. Okay. I know, each day has six time periods, but only three are working periods. Wait, so we can only work during those times. Ah, at least I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Bro, <laughs> let's date everyone. They give us stuff. You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I put a little lavender in there, too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's fruits. Our <laughs> favorite. Well, I got fruit on the brain, guys, all right? His hands are always dry, you see. You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, it's, it's, it's best to move along before it gets late. Say, at least I was wondering, I'm going to pick some flowers this afternoon. Okay, I think I skipped it a little bit. Th that you might care to join me if you like. All right, I'll be there, Freya. That's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. Okay, dokie. What's gotten into her? Talk about all this lavender, lavender stuff. Oh, so this is where we work? Okay. All right, let's go back. This is what I wanted to do. Oh, go in here, I guess. What? Was this opening here before? I wonder. This place is so stuffy. Stay sane. Keep Elise from feeling frightened with sanity healing items or she might go mad. There's sanity healing items? Diary entry one. This looks like an awful like the old geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our beloved patroness, Saint Walbola. After last uh, evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for Saint Walburgus, Walpurgus state, for, but for old Holly's as well. Granny Holly. On her deathbed, old Holly confessed to all of her sins. Among her most mundane missteps, she told me of Elise. Of her many prayers to cure her of her childlessness, Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted, that the woodland itself granted her wish for a child. As she put it herself, he granted her wish for a heavy price. How can this be? What did Old Holly mean, uh, truly mean to say? If this truly did happen and Elise was conceived by St. Walpurga's divine intervention, yet if not for St. Walpurga's uh, blessing, then who is he? Old Holly didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions that I can answer at this moment. What is going on here? I best hold on to this piece of paper. Okay, so there's some weird stuff going on with the grandma now. Tattered note. This is very creepy. What? This is another prayer? Uh, hallowed Walpurga sanctified by thy name. I beg thou for a sin, a testimony to my place. So do we gotta find that? Okay. Someone must be leaving these around, but who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith at up at the peaks, buried within the windmill that once was. That's the old windmill up in the mountains. Okay, so is this like part of another ending? Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we best be on our way now. Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh my god, what do I do? What the heck? A door, it's locked too. What is this place? A man-sized sigil appeared chiseled into chiseled to the door's gritty surface surrounded by uneven and scattered crevices. What do I do? Yo, I don't got like a freaking something to hit him with? Oh, I can move it. Oh, I see. What the heck is that? Woo! The heck? What was that thing? Was I dreaming or I think I might need some, something to clear my mind? Okay, I gotta go back in there and get it. Okay, uh, go to the windmill. I don't know what was, that was about or what that thing was, but what I saw there was a ritual of sorts. There's no doubt about it. Oh, I can't go back in there. All right, so there must be another way to get back in there. Okay, I don't have anything that actually helps us with our, you know, Psyche. 
Interesting. So there's a mystery afoot, huh? Okay, so it's still morning time. I guess let's go to work. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know who we should, like, go on a date with. Let's just pick the girl that was in our shed because I feel like there's a mystery with her. So I want to know more about her. I'll just go with that. Oh, I'm so glad you dropped by. Won't you lend me a hand? I have my hands full of tidying up after that windstorm, you see. I can lend you a hand with that, Mr. Ariane. Miss Ariane, I was hoping you could fetch me some eggs from the coop. Of course. Do I get paid for this? Careful with the hands now, you hear? I dare say they're still riled up after last night. Out of my way, you feathered rat. <laughs> I love the art, man. Oh, it's a mini- there's mini games? <laughs> oh, this is cool, dude. Okay, what do I do? What do I do again? I like immediately forgot what it said to do. Oh, take the eggs. Ah, I see. Alright. Oh, God. Give me your eggs. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like red light, green light, but for chickens. No! Wait. Oh, I guess I ran out of time. Okay. I can do better. No, oh, God, they're so fast. They come back so fast. All right, I think I did decent. Is that good? And yes, yes. Continue. All right. Try again. No, thank you. I wonder if there's a reason why we want to get better scores on those, you know? Who knows? There's still a lot about this game I don't know. You got carried away, didn't you? Oh, I suppose I may have. Atta girl. Here you go for all your hard work. Yeah, I can buy so much bread now. I'll be making Heinrich's favorite tonight, it seems. Okay, so now it's the afternoon. So now we can go on the date at our farm. Right? Okay, romantic date available. Let's go. Oh, is it another job or what? Content unavailable. Please purchase. Okay. All right, well, thanks for at least telling me I can't do it. It is the demo after all. Okay, wait, how are we doing on stamina? I guess I should eat something? So I, I haven't lost a heart yet. I'm guessing if we would have been attacked, we would have lost a heart. Oh, there's some claw marks here. What the heck? All right, maybe we gotta come back to that later. Oh, there you are. What are you doing in my room? What are you doing here, Rosemarine? Ah, oh, I didn't think you'd be back so soon, Elise. I came to check on you, but I see you're snooping around my bedroom. You see, Elise, I couldn't help myself. I'm very sorry. All right, well, I knew this would happen, I suppose. I truly didn't mean to, but this novel you left on your table, it's so wonderful. The friendship between Elena and Leonor is simply breathtaking. Oh, I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to loiter about. I swear your home back will be sparkling by the time you're back. Oh, that's all right. Oh, okay, so I guess it is at nighttime. Oh, I can go here now. The wind, the windmill. The windmill that once was. This is surely, this is it surely, but I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Oh, I hear someone. Wait, what the heck? Hmm? There she is. Uh, I'll spend some time with her. Well, I guess I could, right? I could date multiple people. All right, let's spend some time with her. Why not? I I'm so glad you made this time. I was curious about Maypole, I suppose. Who's Maypole? Come now, I've been picking some flowers. Won't they wilt if you pick them now? I'm still playing with the colors. Papa's letting me a hand to dress the Maypole and Mrs. L Marielle and Mrs. Linda's too. Might as well invite all the Keithberg to dress at this rate. Why don't you help too, Elise? Me? You could spend the night on Friday and we could do, uh, do it all together. I'm not too certain. It would be so much fun to have you. I'm not so good with that kind of thing, Freya. I just wear my red dress. Oh, I knew Daisy's would suit you best. Freya, what do you say, Elise? Uh, do you want to save the night? I suppose I could, but it's all right if you don't want to, silly. That's not what I... You don't fancy me too much, do you, Elise? I barely know you. All I want is to be good friends with you despite everything. I do too, you know. I wasn't trying to make you feel for me or anything of the sort. For goodness sake, that's not it, Freya. Oh, I didn't mean... I didn't even say anything yet. But I truly didn't mean to. You're always overcompensating. It makes you seem disingenuous. Elise. Elise. <laughs> I'm glad we're friends for you. I truly am. Yet you keep trying to please me, uh, me day in, day out. That's not what I meant to do, Elise. I wish you'd treat me more as a friend for you, rather than someone you owe an apology to. I'll be using that ointment you made me all right. I never meant to overcompensate. 
Yet you showered me with gifts every day of the week. You don't do that to anyone else. What am I supposed to think? Hey, that's true. No, don't come off too strong like that. I know. That's because I care for you, Elise. Huh? There's a, a reason why you're the only one, silly. She's blushing. Anyway, uh, anyhow, it's getting quite late, isn't it? Is everything all right, Elise? You're red as a beet. Why is it getting quite late? Uh, what are you laughing at? See you later, Elise. For goodness sake. That's her catchphrase. Ah, so I got a heart piece. All right, well, we had a moment, huh? I'll date everyone in this town. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good, does it? You'll get a love heart after every successful date. Check your progress in the relationship menu. Okay, well, so that's in the distance. Goodness knows what I'd give to live in a castle just like that one. Yet here I am, a simple maid of all work. Shining in the distance, a monumental castle stands ethereal and out of reach. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I still can't do anything with this. What does suspicion mean? There she is. No, oh, that's literally what I just said. Rosa Marine! Rosa Marine, where are you? What are you doing? I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. Huh. I still ought to head back to town, mind you. But what are you doing standing out there? <laughs> oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. Hmm. A little early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Air out your thoughts, you say. I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. Is It's important. I set my sight on what's to come. The sooner the better. What do you mean, Rosemarine? <gasps> you see, Elise. I've dreamt about you before, about uh, Kieferberg, too. Oh, is she like a future teller? Fortune teller? Last night, or I don't know, this may sound strange, but I did quite. I didn't quite stumble upon Kieferberg by accident. Rosemarine. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? Mm. I do. I don't know, I've never given it much thought. Then you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but I've always known my fate was with you, Elise. Really now. It's too soon to be having this conversation if I'm honest. I meant to wait until you were ready, but that's why you cleaned my house. I see. I get it. So you're a stalker, huh? <laughs> I don't understand, Rosemarine. Ready for what? You'll know in time. What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosemarine. What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. You s nostalgic, you say? Your breeze, your voice, your home, this breeze even, or your name. I read breeze for some reason. All that surrounds you. So much of it feels like home to me. That's not possible, Rosemarine. It's you the stars told me about, at least I'm certain now. I guess that makes sense. Like, look at her dress, right? She's got like some voodoo crab, and then she got some stars and stuff. Like, totally makes sense. Never in, my never in my life have I heard such nonsense, and yet I'm covered in goosebumps. <laughs> I can tell you don't believe one word of what I just said. I... She always says her name wrong, it's funny. I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer if that's alright. I promise I won't be late for supper. Uh... Alright, don't stay out here too long, you hear? Yes. I won't. Okay, so we did that. Oh god, why is it creepy? Oh god, it's creepy. Is it because I'm running out of stamina? Oh, I finally are done with my work for today. I best over to Miss Mrs. Uh, Gretel to see Love Kuchin. I can't with these names. Oh wait, what are you what are you doing? Oh, it's a story event, huh? Welcome back. I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. Oh no, this is gonna pass time, isn't it? Would you like me to start making dinner for uh, for us from tomorrow, Elise? That's not a bad idea in itself, but. Dude, I'm gonna say that she's the witch. She looks like a witch. She looks like a witch. How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. Ah, uh, if you know, I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Wait a minute, no. <laughs> she says Rosenmarine, and her but it spells Rosemarine, but her name is Rosenmarine. You're confused me, game. So she's been saying her name right. Is it is it just a spelling error? Well, I suppose it can't do much All harm. Right. All right, Rose Marine. See, uh, you're you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the in the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. I've had my fill of running about looking for you, you day and night. Oh, Elise, I wouldn't want to be a bother. Oh, shush it! <laughs> I w uh, I I don't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic, and that's final, you hear? I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... And... Did you hear that? Wait, I didn't hear anything. 
Here, what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Let's save it real quick. Mommy. It's you! What the heck? Who, Muffy? Please spare me, Elise. What in the Lord's name are you doing here? Uh, I was out on a stroll, I swear. I swear on my auntie's name. Oh, and you just so happen to hide behind my house, uh, I see. Uh, who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? Uh, what are you doing here, Mandy? <laughs> what is, why do you keep saying the names wrong? Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. It's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd best... I saw her, that girl you're housing, Elise. You saw nothing, Molly. She's not from around here, even I can tell. You were having supper together and everything, Elise. You keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or I'll- <laughs> Why don't you share some of your bread you've got, uh, Elise? I might keep quiet if you do. I should have guessed that's what you wanted. Oh. I can give you some grapes. What are you telling him, Miffy? You better get me a pretzel tomorrow. Mouth shut or I'll make certain you never go for a stroll again. Suspicion up. Wait, so like- Oh, wait, like, we're suspecting her to be the witch? Because it was like a witch hat. And don't come back or else. Goodness For goodness sake, this is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry. Is she gone? Mm -hmm. This could be bad, Rosemarine. Oh, oh at least I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she's telling anyone? If she does, we could be in trouble. I know, uh, Rosemarine. Oh, like, she suspects her to be the witch. It's Rosen Marine. Oh, shush. I'm heading back inside. Yes. I was supposed to go to the bakery. Muffy's spying on you. Fulfill her daily request for food items to keep her from snitching and raising suspicion. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic for the game. We gotta bribe people. I think I might still be able to go to the bakery. It also looked like there was one more time a day that looked creepy, so I kind of want to see what that's about. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Lubchin. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, at least. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fighting over the switch nonsense day and night. You know, they're rather su superstitious, at least. Oh, you're buying into it now, too? What's next? We all sleep on the church together like chickens in a coop? At least, it's all nonsense. Leb, everyone's losing their wits. Uh, here's your bread, at least. Yes, bread. It pays to talk to people. Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. You need to look after yourself, Elise. Lepchin's always had a talent to figure things out, but is this her intuition again, or... Move along, Elise, before it's late. I'll see you tomorrow, Leb. So each girl has her specialty, it seems. Okay, I've yet to come this way. I wonder what's over here. I heard it was the whole ordeal to get this grindstone down the hill. The worn-down, rough-looking grindstone sits at the centerpiece of a resting area. Looks like the same thing with the windmill. Oh, we have another shop. Crap, I just like spent all my money. Hello? Oh, it's you at least, was it? What are you selling? <laughs> oh, she sells matches, the white mints, grape juice. Okay, okay, I think we just need to go to bed. I'm trying to like find something else to do, but yeah, it's not letting us go anywhere. Wait, she's sleeping in here? You left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I left the door ajar so he can go out, uh, out and about all of, if he wants. What makes you think he'll stay put? Why the bed I made him, of course. You ought to see it, at least. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's, uh, hay bed, Rosemarine. Uh, up you go. You need to make yourself a bed, too. Or make your bed, too. She sleeps on hay, too? <laughs> You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect. I'll get you a blanket, too. I can have you sleep on hay. Why not? Uh, you're not a goat, uh, Rosemarine. I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket? I don't see what's so funny. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. Uh, I'll be glad to take the blanket. I'll get you some uh, matches too and a candle. Thank you, Elise. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night. Good night, Elise. She sleeps on hay. She's not picky. For goodness sake, what am I getting myself into? First, I agreed to house from a Rosemarine. Now, Miffy's caught wind of it, too. I best make sense of all this by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace, somewhere. Where I can live the life I deserve. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that was the end of the demo. Oh. Oh, is this like our, our dreams? I don't like it. Where am I? Is this a dream? Hello? Uh, it's locked it seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside too. Explore the room. It's too bright, but there's no flame. An intricately designed golden lamp stands in the bedroom. Okay. I feel like I'm in a prince's bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. Oh! Holy crap! Okay, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Watch, uh, I guess watch out, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna eat some bread so this thing will go away. Oh, I got a silver key. Is this to the chest? Oh, it actually worked! Goodness, so many dresses. Another key? I wonder what it's for. Golden key. Alright, let's leave the room. That was very surprising. I'm locked here, I suppose. I can't say I mind it much if I'm honest. So I'm assuming we've got to use the golden key. Such a long corridor. It truly feels like I'm in a inside a palace. Oh god. What's that noise? Hey, stay back. Oh god. Blinding crimson glow pierces the window's glass panes, tinting the room in reddish hues. I will save. The witch hour is what it's called? <clears throat> okay. I have a bad feeling about this. I would say, yeah, that's a good idea. Like, to have a bad... <laughs> I would have a bad feeling about this too. What in the Lord's name is this place? What are those things? So now this is Alice of Wonderland. Like, what the heck? Don't forget to turn off your lantern to keep an eye out. Okay, that's moving. Wait, how do you turn it off? Oh, it's X. Oh, I think I use the... Do I use the match every time I do that? Four holes. That means there are four keys I'd wager. Oh, God. Oh, God. I ran right into it. It's good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, stop it. Please. These are all in different languages. I can't make sense of any of these titles. Oh god, everything's gonna hurt me. It's jammed. I could try to pry it open, but... Uh, this is a bad idea. Or not. Okay, we got we got one key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Well, I know we need four of them, right? Okay, cool. So we just gotta find them. Okay, maybe this ain't gonna be that hard then. Oh, it's gotta be here. Oh god. I don't know how to dodge them! Oh, what is this? Uh, bandages. Okay, that sounds like something we probably should use. That's me. Oh, wait, how do I get over there? Oh, I gotta go this way. Oh, God. Oh, it's one of those pages. Okay, the key to one's dreams is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold bathed glory. I'm gonna call it right now, she's the witch. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened in this game. With these kind of dreams, it seems like she might be. It's a key. All right, do I have them all? I don't think so. I think I'm missing one. Wait, there's something on the back of the shelf. I have to reach out my arm to get it. Yeah, reach for it. This is... All right, cool. All right, I could not find it. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. All right, let's get the heck out of here, man. This is it. This is it. Where am I? I must be dreaming. Oh, I'm moving. Okay. Okay, so something's definitely up with that castle. She keeps talking about it or thinking about it. the heck? Hurry now, hurry now. We're late for his ba banquet. Who are you? Right. Oh god, it's the voices in her head. What? It's creepy. 
Oh god, it's the yokai. I think that's literally what it is. It's like a parade. Okay. That was that okay. What the heck? Yo, she got some crazy dreams. That left me feeling a little queasy. Yo, this is a long demo. Are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. No point in waking her this early, I suppose. Get ready for work? Wait. After I sleep, I still have to eat? That is a pretty- okay, alright. I guess that makes sense. That's realistic. Good morning. I would have got a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. Since when have you been up? Oh, I'm always up and about before daybreak. I can't sleep even if I try. I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I couldn't- wouldn't wake you up. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it up, uh, back up easy. You're smarter than you look, huh? I look as smart as I am, Elise. Is that so? Anyhow, I'm heading off to the garden. You mean the field just outside? Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? I've uh, been working like a dog since Granny Hol Holly passed away. Now I have you, now I have you to fret about too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? Uh, what? You'd rather starve? Join me as a maid of, of all work, perhaps. You truly are kind, aren't you? I'm heading to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you breakfast in a moment then. Is this also a gardening game? I've neglected it all for so long, it'll be impossible to dig. Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about. Wait, what the heck is this? What's this? A pair of shoes? Where, when did I find this? And I, <laughs> I just like walked up here. How could they possibly wind up in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. And they fit me like a glove too, these shoes. They're cursed shoes. It's as though they were made for me. Everything changed when I put on the shoes. I guess there was a box there, I didn't even see it. I did it. Oh, the Kaferberg needs to hear about this. Kaferberg? <laughs> There it is. I was thinking like that's a that's a long demo, but man, that's a cool freaking game. I actually would be very interested in playing more when it comes out. So yeah, you guys uh, check it out for yourself and smash like. Scrub of the day time. Today, scrub of the day goes to Cherry.